Hey guys, what's up? It's TDRPQing here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve the square 2. Now before you try learning how to solve the square 2, you have to know how to solve the square 1, because that's part of how to solve the square 2, is knowing how to solve the square 1. So yeah, let's get into the video. So step number one of the square two is getting the corners done. So first off, I'm going to do the white corners. So what I see is I'm going to do a corner on the right first. And the piece for that would be right here. This corner looks like it's done, but in order to check it, you have to put it on the top layer because the top side is the white side. And if it matches up, then it's good. And so the next thing I'm going to do is the other white and red corner which is right here so I'm gonna put it up what I'm actually gonna do is look for the other piece that has to go next to it which is the white and green corner which you're gonna, you're gonna this one is it and you can tell it's right if you move it up and it matches so what I'm gonna do is move this out of the way and then move the left slice layer again so I have that corner there and then I also have this corner done which I'm gonna have to do certain moves and again part of this is knowing how to solve the square one so if you can tell there you go so this corner matches and this other corner matches and I have and what you have to do is have them both next to each other so when you're trying to do the other corners they're out of the way and that's another complicated thing about this but the thing about having so many slices is that it actually gives you more room to do moves, kind of like a Mega Minx, how it has so many sides. So you can do so many moves that don't affect the other sides. But yeah. So the next corner I'm going to have to do is the white and orange corners. So I see there's orange and green. So what I'm going to have to do is find the... So this thing matches up already with the orange. So the piece that goes next to it is the one... Is the other white and green piece which is right here but if I'm gonna move it up like that I'm gonna have to mess up this corner so what I'm gonna have to do is move this piece somewhere else so I'm gonna move it out of the way and then move this piece this side over a little bit and then move it back that way it's over here and I can match it up and you can tell when I match it up then it doesn't affect any of the other corners. And what I'm going to do is move it next to the other two corners. And you basically do the same thing for the last corner. So I see this one's on the left side. And it has to match up with this piece, which is on the right side. And it's again going to affect this. So I have to move this piece somewhere else. So what I'm going to do is just move it over here. Right there. And then I'm actually going to have to move it again until it gets to a point where I can do a slice move and there you go so this corner's out of the way these two corners are out of the way I can do a move and there you go it's um, matched up and then after that you have to match up the other two corners and just put them all together so start doing moves that won't affect them which is kind of hard but not really at the same time it's pretty easy and then I'll get back once I finish Alright, so I have the four white corners done, and then next up is the yellow corners, which is step number two. I've already taught you guys how to do the white corners. I'm not going to do much teaching you guys how to do the yellow corners, because they're basically the same. The only real thing you have to figure out how to do is doing moves like this where it doesn't affect the white corners, and if it does, you're just going to have to move around pieces. But there's no point in teaching that because I basically already have. And if I did, that would be an extra like four minutes of this video. So I'm just going to keep it short and say you basically do the same thing. One thing I also forgot to mention is it doesn't really matter where the white corners are when you're making the yellow corners. So just try to keep them out of the way of the slice moves when you're matching up yellow corner pieces. And then la the last step, step number three, is getting the rest of it done like a square one. I will link a square one tutorial at the end of this video, my tutorial. But basically you just have to do the exact same things you do with the square one since all of the corners are done. So again, I'm not going to explain it. I'm just going to let you guys know when I'm done. 
But I am going to show it being done so you understand that it works. But I'm just going to do it in time lapse. So here we go. Also, you have to make sure that when you're doing moves, it doesn't break up the corners. Okay, so now it's in cube shape, and again, it's you just do normal moves and just make sure that you're not breaking up the corners and messing them up. And you just have to do the slice layer when you're done, unless it's already done. And that's how you solve the square two. It's not that hard. And at first it seems hard, but it really isn't that complicated. You just have to make sure that you're not doing this to corners that are already done and messing them up. And that's really the only challenge of this cube. But besides that, it's just like a square one. So that, guys, was the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them down in the comments below. Besides that, have a good day and bye. See you next time.